Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect with me, E.K. Ogami66, and we forgot one person to talk about with the last episode. We forgot to talk to Tali. Hey! Shepard, I'm glad you're Oh, she's feeling happy. Good to see you smiling again. So to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Steren's our top priority. But with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. Well, we you probably find something. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. So are you some kind of heir to the Quarian throne or something? Not really, no, but... it doesn't work that way. My father's position isn't hereditary. I'll probably never serve on the Admiralty Board myself. Officially, I'm just the same as any other citizen. But it doesn't work that way in practice. People have always treated me differently because of who my father is. You must get all kinds of special privileges. I probably had it easier than most growing up, but it's not all good. People like my father have enemies, and they're not above using me to get to him. Yeesh. It must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed, and that reflects badly on both me and my father. The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian has ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Our greatest yeah. dream is that one day, we'll return to our homeworld and drive out the Geth. But even if we stop Saren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Probably something, something about the Geth, yeah. Help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the veil. And all the Geth we run into now are under Saren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Saren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. I want to know more about the Geth. I doubt I can tell you anything you don't already know. It's been almost three centuries since they drove my people into exile. All I know is the story of their origins. What they were when we created them, and how they turned on us. I want to talk about something else. Like what? Like nothing. Go. <laughs> See you later. Anyway. Well, she seems happier anyway. But yeah, like each person here almost has like something specific that they want to talk about with in regards to hey, I need to go do this thing. And it's Shepard's job to at least be helpful in that regard. So, you know what? I want to I want to help out you know, my boy Garrus. Let's see, so, journal. Uh, Herschel system and the Kepler Verge. Herschel system, Kepler Verge. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. I'll take it in the comm room. But, okay. I guess. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. I'll take all the help I can get. 
We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. You mean spies? Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. Okay. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Understandable, but that, um, that can wait for a hot second. Kepler Verge Virtual System. Oh, we're not that far, actually. Time to get yeeted into space again. I love being tossed into space. Kablooey! Okay, nothing there. Check the random asteroid belt. All right, and we check this guy out, and this one. Bring you in there, because he said you wanted to specifically, and we're going to bring Ashley involved, too. Yeah, you need to level up, like, badly. those later. Oh yeah, by the way, I got the Reaper uh, pistol, so now I can do way more damage.
Garrus is not having a good time with that. Uh, well, Solus is not doing a good job here. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Salion. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. We'll take him in. Drop him off with the military. But we have him. We can't let him get away. Not again. If he dies, we'll never know what he's been up to or how he did it. We'll take him in. Interrogate him, and he'll serve his time. I... Okay. You're right. You're very lucky, Solaris. You owe the commander your life. Oh, thank you so very much. Oh. And so he dies anyway. What was the point of that? You can't predict how people will act, Garrus. But you can control how you'll respond. In the end, that's what really matters. Yeah. Huh. I don't think I ever met anyone like you, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. I mean, that's... It's a weird bug. It's just a weird bug for that one. Because you can tell it's just like, uh, the, the AI for the guy was not meant to actually put him as a target, so to speak. But then this happened. Very weird. But hey, we got we got the uh, the big mean doctor out of the way. Garrus is happy. Well, I think Garrus would have been happier if we actually, like, killed him first anyway, but... You know, we, I mean, we had the right of it. We... We solved his problem without actually being bad guys, you know? Actually, I need to figure out where... So Rex has family armor. Argus row cluster. Uh, okay, there's two. There's just like... Oh, there's two places. We'll check out both just to see what happens. Because I like helping out Rex. Message 
coming in. Oh. Patching it through. General distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Critical system failure. Losing power. Emergency landing. Argos. Communications failing. Life support. Emergency transponder. Interesting. Distress beacon call out. I mean, yeah. I don't know if this is going to be the one where Rex is going to be needing to be involved, but we're going to we're going to deal with it. Get you. Let's see what's going on here in this godforsaken, I think, lava planet? Judging by these, like, lava looking cracks here. Mustafar ass planet that we gotta deal with. There we go. I mean, we got that out of the way, I guess. Neat. Debris. Woo! Okay. Congratulations, that solves literally nothing. Okay. There we go. I just need enough leverage to get out of there. Oh, that's the transponder signal all the way over the frick there.
Okay. Break it, break, dude. Oh, it's you guys. Are there any more of you? I guess that's all that was. It was just taking care of some sort of geth ambush. Not what I came here to do, but whatever. It's probably that. We're gonna do some survey. Okay, so there was a ring, uh, something in that ring. What about this ring? Nope, nothing in this ring. Lucky. Alright, so now we can go to Tantau. See if that's where Rex's armor is. Um, yeah. Bring her, bring her into the fold in this one, just to get her leveled out. map hidden structure not exactly hidden if I can pick it out on a map but I mean sure We'll, we'll let the thing have a have the breathing space in there. Oh shit! A car just came out of nowhere. Cool. All right. This is the place. 
my armor's here somewhere. Oh, uh, thank you. I, I figured this was the case anyway. Hey, your boss is dead, could you not anymore? No? Okay. Well, that guy doesn't want to get up unless I do something, I guess. Yeah, that, that guy did not want to do anything. Can you actually, like, lift him at this point, my girl? Just, like, frickin'... Like, the guy needed to go. Easy encryption? This is it. I can't believe my ancestor ever wore this piece of crap. But at least I've got it back. I'm glad we could help you get it back. I might just be starting to like you, Shu. 
discovered. I got that out of the way. We got Rex's armor. We did right by the man. That's all that matters there. Now we can finish off the rest of this little expedition here on this planet. Again, for a hidden, hidden place, not exactly the most hidden place, you know? Like, we got here pretty easy, all things considered. Now, the pirates and whatnot were really good at their job. They were actually holding us off for a while. But, we just too good. Take my lead, I'll set you Follow me, set me free, trust me and we will escape from the sea. I'll make it through, follow me, follow me. set me free, trust me and we will escape from the sea. I'll make Turn to Normandy, I gotta get this. Okay. And then the last little dongle all the way over here. It's the Great Pyramid. I summon Pot of Greed in attack position. It allows me to draw three additional cards. Why is the ship blowing too? That's a weird one. Okay, this is a frozen hellscape planet side. Why is this green? I don't know. Uh, it's weird. They just may not have had a thing for snow on a pyramid. So. Um, we'll call it for this episode, so thank you guys for watching this episode of Mass Effect with me. Uh, leave the video a like, leave it a comment, and subscribe, that way you can keep up to date with any more Mass Effect stuff. Alright, bye!